Before we jump into today's video, quick Jungle Cruise trivia question. Star Emily Blunt is married to which actor alumni from the TV show The Office? Leave your guesses in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out who the answer is. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Give me that box and I'll help you up. Throw it! Yes! Yes! Oh, hard. Cut! <laughs> 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 if I go with the shape of it and wiggle it. Oh, no, 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 This way. It's got to be this way. That's the one. No, you're not. I will not let that happen to you. Huh? No, I'm in my toiletries. No, they're ruined. Oh, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> With the brand new Jungle Cruise movie out, fans really did fall in love with this movie's take on a fun film adaptation of a Disney ride. And while a lot of fans love the dynamic between the cast, specifically with Dwayne Johnson and Emily Blunt, there was definitely a lot of laughs and really interesting moments that happened behind the scenes. So we wanted to look at some of the best and funniest moments that happened from Disney's The Jungle Cruise when they were filming the movies themselves. So let's take a closer look. Emily Blunt has an incredible sense of mischief and fun, and that's what makes her so brilliant, I think, as well. She keeps every take that she does so energetic and vibrant. It's always full of life. <laughs> <laughs> they were laughing the whole time. There were many, many, many times where we couldn't finish the scene because they were laughing in the middle of it. Well, let's see one hand on it. I think you're gonna need two. <laughs> <laughs> Now, one thing that a lot of fans really loved about this film definitely was the fact that Dwayne Johnson played such a significant role. And in general, Dwayne Johnson surprised a lot of fans in general over the years with how great his comedic timing really is in some of these movies. Nobody would have thought an actor or a performer like Dwayne Johnson would actually end up being able to star in so many comedy movies and have such a great sense of humor. But it seems like he really has refined his craft and has now become kind of a front runner in a lot of comedy films besides still acting in a lot of action movies along the way as well. But it seems like even behind the scenes, Dwayne Johnson is pretty lighthearted and fun. That is the home of the actual Puka Machibi. Sorry, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> I was a big fan of Emily Blunt even before we had worked together. She is one of the most diverse, I think, and multi-threat talented actresses. She could sing, she could dance, she can go deep, she could go darker, she could go lighter. So she does everything. Ah, two beers, two steaks, uh, Mahaje uh, Peige, uh, Peigeon. Let me do it one more time. So, I, here, and I'm off to a good start. I do not share. <laughs> Bugger, sorry. Oh, that is way too heavy. Thank you. Sorry, I've got oh. trouble for this. Sorry. Oh, dear. Oh, darling, she popped. Oh. Sorry. 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 Why out loud? Sorry, dears. Sorry. I was great on it. I was great. Another major factor in this movie being so successful is definitely the dynamic that Emily Blunt brought to the table when she was working alongside Dwayne Johnson. Emily Blunt and Dwayne Johnson just have this really fun chemistry when they're on screen, and it definitely leads to a ton of hilarious moments when they're trying to film something maybe even more serious, like a film like Jungle Cruise. I picked the wrong vine. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome oh. to the adventure of a lifetime. As a partner, he was just wonderful for me. We hit it off immediately, and I think our relationship as the characters also <laughs> somewhat mirrors our relationship. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> now, with the Jungle Cruise movie finally releasing after a long series of delays, fans really did love the dynamic of these two actors and just the story of adventure that this movie told. And a lot of fans are hopeful that maybe one day we will see a follow-up film in the form of a Jungle Cruise 2. Now, whether or not that actually ends up happening is still up to Disney, but fans can still hope just because the fun atmosphere that this movie ended up having. This has been awesome. <laughs> <laughs> because then you know you're fighting to make something really special with someone every day. I love how they're the antithesis of one another as characters, and in some ways Dwayne and I are like the antithesis of one another. Now there also were some deleted scenes that didn't quite make it into the theatrical release of the movie, and these are also really interesting to take a closer look at. Like for instance, there's this scene where sometimes driving a boat can be a little bit more difficult than what it can first look like. There was also this scene that involved an explosion that didn't end up making it into the final release of the movie. Come to think of it, let's make it half million. Yes. Why would you do that? And these type of scenes are always really fun to look at, but there is this scene where we see Dwayne Johnson resting on his boat alongside his pet leopard. And of course, since this scene for the movie was already cut early on in development, we don't see the most detail in some of the CGI. And it is really interesting to take a look at that, what it looks like in one of the earlier primitive stages. Stop having hope to get out. Shut up your fleet toboggan. We're just customers. And you're just a big dumb cat. Good night, girl. Looking even further at some other interesting CGI things, there is this whole animated sequence that would have happened after that scene that didn't make it into the movie either. We can also look at this really interesting boat sequence where we would have seen some more CGI and definitely some more detailed CGI that ended up getting cut out altogether. But of course, it's interesting to look at some of the primitive placeholders that they use when they're trying to piece together how a scene like this, for example, would have ended up looking. <laughs> <laughs> then there's also this sequence and some footage of the boat itself that could have been used in the film but ended up not making its way into the final release of the movie and you can see it's still being filmed in the studio with all of the blue screen walls outdoors that's used to replace the backdrops when they actually are in the editing room finishing up the movie and that's something we think that is really interesting to get a closer look at it's a little repurposed tea that would warm it up for you. sweet. You look nice, Kelly. Cheers. Cheers. So all in all, what were your thoughts on Jungle Cruise? Were you a fan of this movie? And would you like to see a follow-up film if they end up choosing to go down that route? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments section down below and make sure you're subscribed with notifications on. You can also check out this video we did on Jungle Cruise where we looked at some of the funniest and most interesting moments from the press tour that Dwayne Johnson and Emily Blunt went on when promoting the film. And there's just a ton of other funny moments along the way that you can see there as well. Also to answer the question at the beginning of the video, Video, John Krasinski, who played Jim Halpert on The Office, is in fact married to star Emily Blunt, and they actually appeared together in 
A Quiet Place, which was directed by John Krasinski, and Emily Blunt starred in A Quiet Place 2, also directed by John Krasinski. That's it for today, we'll see you all next time with a brand new video.